I think there's a few parties happening in a few apartment complexes here. That's another reason why it's so loud today. People are just having fun and enjoying the sun in London and are just being really noisy about it. Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England. I've been here for a few years and I like making videos about my life here in London and British culture. It is a beautiful day out here today. I am so happy that Summer is back, popping her glorious head out from uh, underneath the major clouds we've been getting. Uh, it's been crap weather here in London over the last few weeks. Anybody living in England knows that, so it's finally nice to have some sun. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I've been trying to film this video for a while, but it has been noisy. It's funny because this video is gonna be about the pros and cons of living in London. I love living in London, clearly. It's my favorite city for a lot of reasons. I actually have a video from a few months ago where I talk all about why I love living in London. Today I wanted to be a little bit more honest because it's not always wonderful and awesome and you know exciting times um so it's really funny how i've been struggling to film a video today because it's been so noisy in london but i think that's probably one of the cons that i'm just gonna go right out and say it it is noisy in this city there's so many people living here um i can't remember the actual population size but there's so many people living here so if you do want peace and quiet maybe don't live in london obviously that varies depending on the borough there are certain boroughs that are quieter but I'm in central London, so um, any hope for, for peace and quiet is that. Uh there's planes flying overhead all the time. There's motorcycles. There's just like everything. So it's been really hard filming this friggin' video. So now that I've had that little rant, let's get into um, London and what it really is like living here because um, there are some amazing things. Obviously, I touched on a lot of them in my uh, previous video about why I love London. I'll reiterate some of those things as well, but I'm going to talk about some other things that I don't really like but that just come with the territory of living in London. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is how much I love the history, the buildings, just being in central. It's just, oh, incredible. Like the architecture is just, takes my breath away every time I go in to see it. It's just out of this world, especially coming from Canada where we don't really have that architecture because Canada is still a young country. So that architecture just blows my mind away. It's one of my favorite things about living here. So you probably know how expensive London is. It's not a secret. London is really expensive. That applies for everything really, um, especially transport. London transport is insane. Um, it's amazing. It's one of the best transport systems in the world, but it is really expensive. So what I like to do now that I'm living in Central is take advantage of the bike share system. So there's a Santander bike shares here. Two pounds gets you access for a day, for 24 hours, and you can ride for half an hour before you get charged an extra two pounds, if that makes sense. So um, if you spend two pounds, you have access for a whole 24 hour period. And in that 24 hour period, you can ride as many times as you want for half an hour and not get charged again. So it's really convenient. The only disadvantage, I think, would be the fact that it's not London widespread. It's mostly in zones one and two. So if you are living kind of further out, you won't have access to them. But uh, it is really convenient if you are in central, if you're living in central or zone one and two, or if you're here just, you know, and you want a cheaper way of <laughs> traveling through central. While we're on the subject of public transport, another con is there's no air conditioning in most of the tube lines. So it gets really, really hot in the summer, especially because it's so crowded, especially during a rush hour. Oh my God, huge, huge con there. And um, I am echoing. Ooh, echo. A big pro for London is that there's just so many different types of people here because I've said it before in other videos, but most people that live in London aren't from London. They're from all over the UK, all over the world. So you really do get to meet a lot of people, meet a lot of unique people and learn all about different cultures. I think that's great. And that's a huge pro because I've learned a lot about multiple different types of cultures, multiple different people and all of that. So that's a huge pro living in London for sure. London is its own unique spot. It's not really a great representation of England. So if you're coming to London thinking this is going to be a great cultural experience for England, think again because that's not the case. If you're looking for more of an English culture experience, go outside of London. A big pro about London is the fact that there's just always something to do. There's plenty of bars and pubs and clubs and 
theater, the West End, there's just always so much to do here and it's amazing. Of course, a lot of that is really expensive. Alcohol is so expensive. You do find some really cool spots and really unique uh, bars and, and oh, just yesterday we went to this really uh, cool bar that we just randomly found and it had the best beer. Oh my God, I'm still dying from this beer, but it was so good. And y you do find those really cool spots. There's so many unique places here in London for you to spend money in, of course. But having said that, there's also all the free things you can do in London as well. You know, you have parks. There's so many amazing parks here. I've said it before. Uh, it's so easy to get lost in these parks and feel like you're not in the city anymore. Museums, there's plenty of museums that are free to enter. So art galleries as well. Uh, London is full of things that you can do on a budget, but really it is also expensive. So. Big pro, big con, right there. Let's talk about cost of living for a second because that's a huge thing. Rent is expensive. Like you are paying so much money for your rent. It's ridiculous. Bills as well, it, ugh. But it also really depends where you live in London. If you live further out, like in the further zones, London is split from zone one to zone six. So zone one is central, zone six is like Heathrow Airport. It really depends where you're living. Obviously, if you're living further out, you're paying less, but you're also spending more money on transport to get into the city. So it kind of evens itself out <laughs> in a way. But yeah, just cost of living is stupid in London. Um, but that's gonna be an obvious one. That's something they don't really have to linger on. Back on the pros, so a huge pro is the markets. There's so many cool markets in London. In. You got Borough Market, you got Camden, Brick Lane. There's so many markets. Um, you can get really cool items, delicious food, Ugh, especially Borough Market is really known for its food. I've done a whole Borough Market video, sort of. Um, you should watch that. Obviously, I touched on this at the beginning of the video, but the weather can be temperamental. Um, it, it, typical English weather, really. But yeah, it can be very rainy. Um, not necessarily rainy, but just cloudy. But having said that, the sun does come out, and when it does, it is amazing. I feel like the last few summers have been really, really sunny, so I think this summer is a little bit of a downer. We've been getting a lot of really cloudy weather and just blah <laughs> weather. But hopefully the sun stays um, for the next little while because we have missed it. But yeah, I guess that's stereotypical British weather. What can I say? <laughs> guess this is a bit of a con, but um, people aren't that friendly in London. Londoners are kind of known for being a bit standoffish, but that's fine. It doesn't really hinder me at all because I'm, I guess I'm just not a very friendly Canadian. I don't know. Um, but uh, if you are looking for openness and friendliness in your community london might not be for you it's just kind of well known not to talk to strangers it's just kind of the london way but uh if that's a con it's a con for you and yeah <laughs> another mixed bag of pro and con is that london is just so big it takes forever to get from one side of the city to the other um which is a con in that sense but also because it is so big there's so many cool and unique spots in london like it takes forever to like discover all of it i've been here for a few years i i haven't seen all of london so there's so much to explore there's so many unique boroughs unique places and i think that's fantastic i don't really think that is a con so much but i guess it can be because it takes forever to get from one end to the other. A big pro is that London is the hub for airports. So if you're traveling anywhere else, anywhere ever, <laughs> London is a great city to be in because there's so many airports. So it's so easy to travel outside of the UK, outside of London. Um, there's train stations, a lot of train stations taking you into Europe. Um, there's a lot of airports, just transport within the city and outside of the city is really good. I mean, at the end of the day, London is what you make of it. It is an incredible city. It's really expensive, but it is just an incredible city for so many reasons. Obviously it's not for everyone, but it is right for me and it is right for a lot of people. London is a fantastic city. It does have its pros, it does have its cons, and that is just the case for any city, really, New York, Milan, any city <laughs> has pros and cons to it. London is my favorite city. I'm so grateful to be living here. I'm finding new and exciting things every day. Well, maybe not every day, but like, <laughs> I'm finding new and exciting things all the time. And I'm so excited to keep discovering London because I'm not done yet. So if you did like this video, please do remember to give it a like and subscribe. I do appreciate the love and support from you all. Okay, that's it for me, guys. Bye.